Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at the all new Xiaomi 4K Laser Projector 1S. This improved model's got a 25% increase in brightness. But is it any good? Well, let's find out. Let's go. In the box, you'll find some instructions, a microfiber cloth. Below that, you'll find the projector, a power cable, in my case with Chinese three pin plug and a remote control with the included AAA batteries. The 4K laser projector 1S is 41 by 29 centimeters in size and only 8.8 .8 centimeters in height, weighing in at around 7 kilograms. It's got a projection brightness of 2000 ANSI lumens, which is over 25% brighter than the first generation. It can project images of 80 by 150 inch. On the inside, it's got a T968H processor, 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of flash storage. It's got dual speaker drivers that actually delivers a pretty good stereo sound. And on the audio side, it supports Dolby and DTS audio encoding. On the back, you'll find the power input, three HDMI input ports, including one supporting ARC, a USB 3 port, a 3.5 millimeter audio out, an AV input, SPDIF audio out, and an ethernet port. It also comes with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity to stream content and connect uh, to accessories like keyboards, mice, or game controllers, for example. And it runs Xiaomi's Android-based MeTV patchwall operating system. It can be placed anywhere from as close as 14 centimeters from your wall up to 49 centimeters from your wall, giving you an image range of 80 to 150 inch or 2 to 3.8 meters in size. It's got a vertical keystone correction if you need to tweak the display. And it's got focus adjustments for the corners, which did a very good job in making a super sharp image. From the projector's menu, you can set the OS language to English. As for now, only the China mainland version has been released, but it does allow you to set the uh, operating system to English, which is a bit easier to navigate. It comes with a handful of pre-installed apps on the China mainland version that I've got right here. And most importantly, I've installed apps like Netflix, Aptoid, then Popcorn Time and YouTube. So I could directly stream from Netflix and I could watch YouTube videos on it. Marking Xiaomi's 10 year anniversary, it's also been given the number one smartphone camera rating on DxO Mark. It also allows me to load files from an external drive. So I've connected a small SSD to the USB port and I could play 4K content from that. I've played some movies and documentaries and these come out looking really, really good. Also this animation that I played in the beginning of that Xiaomi Fi, I made that in 4K and it looks super cool on that. It also allows you to connect any external source over HDMI. And if you use HDMI port one, it actually gives you this little preview thumbnail right here on the home screen, which is pretty cool. And as I've just got a switch, I just had to play that on this projector. And that was amazing. Come on, Mario Kart on this projector just looks super cool. So as it's uh, virtually impossible to film any projector without getting a little bit of flickering because of the screen and the shutter speed of the camera, I've also taken some pictures so that you can really see the quality of the output. It does look very, very good. Especially when it's playing in the room that you're in, it looks so good. Then how is the sound on that thing and how much noise does it make? Well, the sound on the projector itself is very good. For most things, it's really just good enough. It's full, it can go very loud, and the bass content is really quite good for coming out of the projector itself. The watch case is uh, 45 by 11 millimeters in height and weighs only 54 grams. If desired, you can always uh, choose to connect uh, any external speaker set to the projector in case you really want to have some high-end audio though. The projector itself doesn't make a lot of noise. It does get a little bit warm after a while, but it seems to have a very good fan and cooling system built in as it blows out the hot air from the left of the device, but the fan is really silent, so it's hardly noticeable. The Mija 4K Projector 1S just came out in the Xiaomi store in China, where it goes for around 15,000 RMB, which is around 2100 US dollars, or a little less than 1900 euros. And you gotta consider that brands like Sony have these projectors maybe going around $20,000, so this one is actually really well priced. 
So what do I think of this all new 4K projector? Well, I gotta start saying that this 1S version is pretty much the same as the first generation of these 4K projectors in terms of its specs. I mean, most of it is exactly the same, but the main difference is really the brighter output. And that difference is really quite big, as it was pretty much good enough to use during the day. It's always better when it's slightly darker, like when you just uh, slightly shut the blinds or close the curtains a bit. But even in full daylight, it still performed pretty well. As this is the first time that I'm reviewing the laser projector, I am super impressed with how nice it is. The image quality is very good. Um, the fact that it's a short throw projector that you can place that close to the wall and get such a huge image from is still amazing. It's got plenty of in and output ports. You can connect game controllers and keyboards, mice, audio devices, USB drives, and all kinds of HDMI sources. And it's got an ethernet port. So overall, this thing is really, really good. Even though I've seen the previous generation at some people's homes and I've seen it in the store plenty of times, having it in the bedroom and being able to watch stuff on it for a few weeks really is a different experience. So overall, I'm very excited about the Mija 4K projector 1S. So, so what do you guys think of the new 4K Projector 1S? Let me know down here in the comment section what you guys think and if you are interested in picking this up or maybe you're waiting until there's going to be a global version of this coming out with like all the Google apps installed. Let me know down here in the comment section what your thoughts are and don't forget to leave a little like below the video to show me that you liked it and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet know that you probably should because I'm doing a ton of videos about products from Xiaomi and the Xiaomi ecosystem right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.